Hello, today I'm going to talk a little bit about the circumcenter of a triangle and its very interesting properties. So in an earlier lesson, um, we proved that if you have a segment, let's call it segment AB, AB, any point on its perpendicular bisector, any point on here, let's call it this point, let's say point C, okay? Any point on this perpendicular bisector will be equidistant from the endpoints of the segments. So this means that CB is, e is equal to AC, is equal to CA. Okay, so now we can use um, what we've learned here and we can apply this to a triangle. So let's take this segment right here, AB. Let's redraw it right here. Call it segment AB. Okay. And let's create a triangle with this segment. So let's make a triangle just like this. So let's call this point C. Okay. So let's look at AB again. And let's do just the perpendicular bisector of AB. So that'll be something like this. Okay. And let's do the perpendicular bisector of um, BC now. Like this. Okay. And now the perpendicular bisector of AC. And something like, something like this. Okay, so the point, let me redraw this. Okay, Okay. so the point where all of these intersect right here, this is called the circumcenter of this triangle. What does that mean though? It's because we all know that this is a circumcenter, but what does this mean? So. Let's start looking at each of these segments. So let's look at segment AB and its perpendicular bisector right here. Let's call this point O, by the way. Okay. Um, it's perpendicular bisector of AB. Well, back looking at back, looking back at this, we know that any point on the perpendicular bisector of a segment is equidistant from the endpoints of that segment. So we can say that. OB is equal to OC. Okay? Now, moving on, let's look at BC. Let's look at its perpendicular bisector again. O also lies on its perpendicular bisector, which means that OB, right here, is equal to OC. So, what do we know here? We know that O. A is equal to segment OA is equal to segment OB and segment OB is equal to segment um, OC. So by the transit transitivity by the transitivity property we can say that A OA is equal to OC. O, C. And what else can we say? We can also say from this information right here, we can say that O, A, segment O, A is equal right here, is equal to segment O, B, is equal to segment O, C. Okay, so what does this tell us? Well, let's look at this triangle. We can see that each of these segments are equal. So let's call each of these segments R for radius. And how does this, how does this, how could this relate to a radius? Well, we know that um, the radius of a circle is the point from the center of the circle to any point lying on the circle. So we can see that each of these vertices of this triangle right here, A, B, and C, can all be radii OA, OB, OC. They can all be radii of a circle with points O, B, and C lying on the circle. Okay, so let's let's try to draw the circle. Right here. Um, 
one second. Okay, so circle somewhat like this. And what is O? Well, we know that if AO is a radius and OC is a radius and OB is a radius, we know that O is the center of the circle. So what does this tell us? This tells us that really any point that this tells us that any triangle has its own circle that can be inscribed about it. And the circumcenter of this triangle right here, O, is the center of the only circle that be, can be inscribed about this triangle. So for example, here is um, an example. Let's draw another triangle. Like that. And we'll call it A, B, C. Okay, let's do its perpendicular bisectors of A, C. Perpendicular bisector of A, B. Somewhere around here. Okay. Perpendicular bisector of C, B. Something like this. Okay. So, more or less, the center, the circumcenter of this triangle will be right here. Let's call this O. And as we've learned from right here, we can say that O is the center of the only circle that can be inscribed about this triangle. There we go. Hope you found this interesting and helpful.